Hi, welcome back. I'm Richard Painter. Um, excuse the noise in the background. We are a busy body shop. Uh, and the last couple of videos have been a bit scatty because it's been absolutely mental. Uh, extremely, extremely busy. So, uh, stuff everywhere. Uh, stuff where I, I normally can work around one vehicle nice. We've had to wedge two. Uh, it keeps peeing down outside, so uh, third wheel problems, I guess. Uh, so we've got a Vauxhall Mocha. You see, we've got some damage on here. Uh, we've also got a few bits around the vehicle. I'll just show you. Nothing major. A little bit here. And a little bit there. So what I do, for the sake of this video anyway... Looks like I've inherited that job as well. Um, I have to check, we'll see what he wants me to do. I don't think he said that, but... Anyway, we've got that to do. Um, basically, this is a, a trade job, so we're just going to do... Um, the main areas if you like there is dents and scratches and various stuff around it but um, I'm assuming they'll touch that up and I'm guessing have that polish when it comes around to the balloting area but anyway uh, waffling again so basically what I'm going to do is just show you how we deal with this corner um, it is ever so slightly dented, but it's so minor, I don't think I'm even going to attempt to try and pull it out. I think it's just going to be one of them little tiny, a little tiny skim job in there, and that's going to be it really. It's, it's so minor. Um, but we'll show you how we do it anyway. So all I've done is clean everything off, degreased everything, including the trim, because we are going to be doing the trim. Uh, you'll see I've got rid of the... Um, side repeater and the trim up here so that's just taped inside there so we don't it don't drop down and causes a whole load of headaches because uh, those that have dropped it down the back of the wing and you have to take everything off it's just and it only happens when you're in a rush as well so when you're in a rush and trying to get the vehicle back because they're desperate for it um that's the only time that would happen so whether that's karma or just one of them things it's uh, which is why i always tape them so that's taped on the inside so you tape round the plug if you like and then tape it to the inside of the wing so you can just pop your finger in there and pull it out when you're finished um yeah so we're going to get this sanded i'm not going to take that off um because i'm going to sand that as well uh, so we'll sand all of this all of that uh, and then we'll see how much we can sand out and then hopefully we only need like a little skim just to finish that job but i'll not go around the whole thing with you but it's, if i just show you this one and then we'll know we uh, try and keep the video a bit shorter than the last couple it's full of me waffling so we'll set this up
forward a couple of hours. Everybody's gone. We've got it all sheeted up. So underneath that I've masked it for paint. And then I've back masked it for primer. Purely just to speed my job up down the road. Uh, and with the weather being terrible at the minute, I just need to get some start to finish jobs, just get him, try and get rid of them if we can. Um, there's only me that paints here at the moment, so I have to try, try and organise all these. So anyway, what we're going to do is paint, primer even. So you'll see I've taken that off anyway, I wasn't going to, but I've taken it off anyway. Um, too close to the edge, so they had to get rid of them. So we'll prime that on there. Uh, around here, again, you'll see it's nice, a little bit there. It's over there. And over there. So we'll smash some primer up. We'll let that dry. And for me, I'm going to leave this one overnight because I've got another vehicle to get into primer before I go out. Um, but you'll join me, which will be my tomorrow, a bit later in this video. Uh, and we'll carry on with this and get it um, painted. Yeah. Right, there's some primer on. Right. <coughs> Hopefully this will make sense. So we've got everything in primer. Now I've demasked it, it kind of, kind of makes more sense. When we sand, we've got extraction anyway, so I'm just going to clean that off. We'll get everything cleaned out. I need to clean down in here anyway. And then uh, we can all organise the paint. The black on it is just like um, a guide coat if you like, so if there is any lows left, the black will stay in there. And then I know I've got a low to either carry on sanding or to fill up or whichever you deem needed at the time. So we'll just shut that door for now. Right back again, we're on the uh, box hall mocker. So we've sanded everything down. Uh, just letting the boot warm up now, a bit cold. Uh, I've just bought a bit of... So I didn't have... Um, my grey primer's about run out, I didn't have enough for this job, so I had to use a white primer. But then I've just put um, a bit of a colour over the top, it's like a pinky salmon colour. Basically, so I, uh, it's, it can be quite poor covering, so if I do it this way, rather than having like bright white primer to cover up, I've only got like a dark salmon red colour to cover, which will be a lot easier. Uh, so we've done that all the way around.
Right, so we're all painted, you'd have seen that. So now it's dry. Just demasking it. I'd already started and then remembered I was doing a video, so I'm gonna come back to it. So just peel that away from where we are. Beautiful. Just trying to get some of it off so you can see. So what I'll do uh, now really is we'll demask everything. It depends on the vehicle, depending on what we're doing. With this one there's um, there's a couple of little dirt nibs that we need to sort of nib out and, and buff, which is very minor. If we had to do a lot, I might be inclined to do do it all while it's masked up and then any residue or anything like that would fly over the sheeting as opposed to a car that I then have to clean. So, uh, Whereas the, these trade jobs, we don't generally clean them. If it was a retail job, we normally give it a complimentary uh, clean before they go back. But with the trade jobs, they've got their own validators and stuff like that, and they don't pay for that. All, all we do really is make sure it's nice, clean and tidy, which it is anyway. Uh, I don't know if you can make out, there's a little dirt nib on the top there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, just a little bit there. So we just go around, de-nib it, make sure it's clean. This one will be straight out the door. Um, while we are here, so we've got the trim. Um... So we'll pop that back in and then because I've taped these, you'll see in a minute if I can get the tape on, that'll pull out for me and then I can get the uh, side of the paper plug back in and slip back in so and then that's basically it for this job so right, I've just done an out tray um, thinking I'd finished. I've actually forgot I said I'd show that um, textured plastic process as well, didn't I? So we'll get uh, we've got the plastic um, this piece, but on the other side, which we've still got to do yet. So, uh, so I'll get this debagged. I've got to get the vehicle swapped around anyway. Because I've got another one to paint before I go home. So, and I don't want to be taping off of this till tomorrow anyway. We'll leave it overnight, let it harden up properly. Yeah, and then we'll just carry on. So you probably won't even know any difference anyway. And that looks better, doesn't it? Rather than a big dent and a big scratch. Colour's pretty good as well, considering it's uh, some colours you get, you put the code in the machine, in the computer. And you might have 30 or 40 variants and then you know you're in you're in for it then this one only had four and to be honest with you we're not uh, we're only blending um mainly the corner you'll see there's no paint here anyway just clear coat even up here there's a tiny bit here that you can just make out the color but we kept it very low and very local um, so as not to have to paint the door or anything like that, you know. Um, so yeah, we'll get organised. I'll get this other car painted quickly. Uh, again, for me, it will be another day for you. This video will just carry on. And then, uh, well, we need to get this plastic, um, plastic trim and that uh, corner of the bumper all painted so it's in primer at the moment just to give you an idea so we need to get it textured find the right color get it textured out which i'll show you um yeah then when it's dry i can fit that back on there so right back again